guys, it's Chris. Um, I'm coming to you today with a, um, it's a different video. It's not a haul, it's not a de-stash. Um, this is a very, very important video and I hope everybody watches it. And um, we were informed um, a couple days ago or yesterday, or I don't remember when, but that a member of our WAX community um, Jill Grant, she went by the name of Jill Axe and Wax in, in the groups, and um, she was murdered on Monday, Monday before Christmas, by her live-in boyfriend. And so there is a group that's been set up, the Jill Grant Memorial Fund. Um, I will post that, that information below. I'm urging everybody to um, join this group. I have over 400 subbies, um, all my vendor friends. I know a lot of my the vend my vendor friends have already stepped up and um, have donated. We're doing an auction. Now, it's in the early stages, guys, so um, we're not quite sure um, what cause or charity or, you know, if this is going to go directly to the family yet. Um, we're not quite sure when we raise the money, what it's going to go to yet specifically. Um, I know some of the, I'm not an admin in the group, but I know there's like four, I think four of them now. And I know that um, some of them have been in contact with Jill's brother. Um, most of you have probably already heard this news. If you haven't, you know, I apologize that this is the way you're hearing it. Um, but if you go to the group, and join the group also you will get more details on um, what happened the, the few details that we have um, but like I said she was um, murdered by her living boyfriend and um, I didn't know Jill personally um, I only knew her from the boards and from what I knew of her she was just a really sweet bubbly, wonderful woman. Um, she never had a mean word to say about anybody. I never saw anything on the boards, you know, negative come out of her mouth. Um, and I think that's just kind of how she lived her life. I, I don't believe that she, you know, I think that's just who she was. Um, but um, details, of course, you know, it was all over the news, um, locally in her town. I believe she lived in Palm Desert, California, around that area. And, um, so we in the WAX community are trying to put a positive spin on this tragic situation. And excuse me if this video is not, you know, very professional or put together. Um, I was asked to do this video and this is very, um, it's a hard video to do. Um, so I know that everybody, you know, just got done celebrating the holidays and everybody, you know, was spending time and relaxing with their families and getting together and enjoying presents and everything. And unfortunately, Jill was unable to do that due to the circumstance and it's very, very sad and heart wrenching. It's just tragic. Um, I'm still in shock. I know those of you have, who have heard are, are still in shock. Um, we're all still just trying to digest it. And, um, I think it's great that we're coming together as a community in this Facebook, Facebook group and doing this auction and raising money. Um, despite you know, our differences. I mean, obviously you have a big group of women and men and, you know, a few men out there in the, um, wax community. And, you know, there's always going to be people with differences and, and some people don't get along and everything like that, but it's been really great to see everybody, despite our differences, um, come together for Jill and work together for this cause. Um, I know that this cause is very, close to me personally. Um, I've been a um, victim of domestic violence and I was able to get out of it. Um, fortunately for me, um, unfortunately for Jill. Um, 
and so we're all coming together for this auction so i'm urging everybody to please join this facebook group and give what you can give i mean it's um i know i personally am giving wax and i'm giving um some homemade pendants that i um have or handmade pendants that i have and um i also have a domestic violence um, painting that i had done um based on domestic violence and um if i can find it uh, with my move and everything um i will be putting that up for auction also um but it doesn't have to be wax you guys you, i mean anything and nothing is too small so don't think anything is like too small like if you want to donate a pair of earrings or something like that it's nothing's too small anything is you know it's from the heart and it's and it's um i think it's also a good way for us in 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 this community that we have to um feel like we're doing something cuz it's so hard after something like this happens you want to do something you want to do something but you feel so helpless like what can i do you know i mean i'm not in california i'm across the country you know i i can't you know i can't you know go to a vigil or i can't you know it's just i don't know it, it's it but we're all doing this for jill so like i said nothing is too small if you crochet if you um draw or if you paint or if you make jewelry or you you know knit or i mean you're crafty what whatever it doesn't really like i said we're anything is accepted anything is accepted as a donation um I know that some of the admins admins in the group, um, I believe there's like four of them now, um, have been trying to get a hold of or have been in contact with her brother. Her brother was on the news. Um, there are links in the group to the news um, um, feeds or whatever um, where you can get more information on what happened. I mean, there's, you know, there's not a lot of information at this point at all um just the basics but um so we are you know like i said just trying to come together together as a group to do what we can so we will be raising money um and the money will go you know to the best possible way that we think you know will it will be utilized um whether that's you know if we talk to not we the admins I'm sorry, I always say we, not we. I won't be personally. Um, I was asked to do this video. This is a hard video. This is really hard. Um, but it, it will go to either, you know, maybe a charity that was near and dear to her heart, maybe to her family directly. We don't really know yet. It's it's in the beginning stages. But like I said, if you do join the group, I will post the link below. You'll get more information as it comes. So, and the admins are super helpful. So they will also be able to tell you um, give you more information about, you know, when and when this is going to happen. And, and if you want to, and I hope you do, um, donate, I mean, you know, don't worry about it being like ASAP because, um, this just, you know, she was just discovered on Monday. And, um, so, you know, she hasn't, um, been buried yet or anything. And we're trying to give the family a little time to, you know, some time to grieve. We don't, you know, we know there's so much on their mind and, and everything like that right now that it's certainly not, um, you know, don't want to bombard them with a million questions about, you know, things or whatever. Um, you know, you have to give people the, their space, but, um, you know, even if you didn't know Jill, I mean, like I said, I didn't know her personally, but, just being a part of this big community it's 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 really tragic it's just so super super tragic and heartbreaking and um but maybe you've been affected by domestic violence in one way or another maybe you know somebody um unfortunately this happens way too often um the domestic violence part it's it's it happens way too often and it's not talked about enough um it's it's kept hidden, you know, due to, you know, shame or whatever, you know. Um, I know with me, people, I, I it was hidden and, and um, you know, you kind of don't 
want the questions or you kind of don't really even know the answers to the questions like why are you still there what you know what's the deal why don't you just leave you know it's not that easy it's not, it's not that easy it's never that cut and dry and it's never that easy and um so even if you know somebody or you know you have somebody that you think might be in a situation or um you know something's just not right or you know just reach out reach out to them and just let them know you know that you know they may not be willing to talk about it they may not be willing to even admit it to themselves or you know no it's fine it's okay or you know i can handle it or whatever everybody fights you know kind of thing but just let them know that your door is always open or your phone's always on and you're there for them um it, it's a very very hard situation to um deal with and and to help with um i'm also going to post some links below to some um you know maybe you know some domestic violence hotlines or something like that so if you or anybody you know is in that situation, you know, um, hopefully those can help. Um, but, you know, I had a big supportive family around me. And so, and even they didn't really know the extent until after, you know, I was out of the situation and, um, you know, so... Like I said, it's really hard. This is a hard video to make. I'm sorry if it's, you know, kind of not exactly professional or, you know, my usual happy, cheery self, but we really want to try and celebrate um, Jill's life and, you know, and not focus so much on the death and the details. Um, we just want to celebrate and we just want to do what we can. So that's why we are um, all coming together to do this auction. And so the link will be posted below. And like I said, if you or anybody else you know has been in this situation, um, just reach out. Uh, that's really all you can do. Um, you know, just let them know that you're there. And, you know, if you have to say it two times, three times, four times, whatever, just let them know, you know, that you're there. Keep in touch. You know, if someone's kind of falls off the radar or you know, isn't, doesn't seem to be their normal self or whatever, just, you know, sit down, have a cup of coffee with them and just, you know, hold their hand and just say, Hey, you know what? I'm here. You know, anything you need, I'm here. You know, I won't judge, you know, I'm not, you know, or maybe I've been there. You know, you can say I've been there. If you have been there, you know, it really does help. Um, because I know being in this situation myself, feeling so alone, like, you know, no one's going to get it. No one's going to understand. No one's going to, I don't even understand. I don't even know what's going, you know, I can fix it. I'll fix it. It'll be okay. You know, it's a very sad, sad situation. So, um, I know that on January 3rd, they're going to have a candlelight vigil in California where she, um, lived and they're going to be, you know, lighting candles and stuff like that. So us in the Wax community, we're also going to be lighting candles in um, Jill's memory. So um, again, I will post all the information below. The best thing I can say, and I will try to answer questions. If anyone has questions and they want to post them below, I'll do my best to answer. Um, but like I said, I don't have a lot of details. I don't think anybody has a lot of details at this point. Um, the best thing to do would be to join the group and then you will be constantly updated and informed and, um, you know, you'll know better how to, you know, you can ask any of the admins and, you know, oh, how do I donate or how do I, you know, when do you need the stuff by or whatever. Like I said, right now it's beginning stages, so don't freak out and go, oh, God, I have to get something by, you know, done by, you know, I want to make a blanket or I want to do this and it's got to be done. It's going to be a couple weeks because of course, you know, even the vendors that are stepping up, I mean, they need a couple weeks to get stuff together. And, um, so like I said, I just urge everybody, please, you know, join the group. I mean, you know, even if you didn't know Jill directly, but were, you know, you were a victim of domestic violence yourself or know somebody that, um, was a, you know, a, a victim or, you know, if you lost somebody to domestic violence, I mean, it's just, it's just so, 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 so tragic. And, um, 
I'm just hoping, like I said, that we all can come together as one big community, which so far, I mean, we're absolutely doing that and doing what we can because um, that's all we can do, you know, and we're just praying for her family. And I'm going to do a little montage at the end of this video. So I hope you guys stick around to watch it. Um, just some pictures that I've collected um, of Jill. So um, anyway, that's it. Join below. And um, again, also link below um, some some links to some, you know, hotlines and um, more information you can get about domestic violence. So take care, everybody. And please, like I said, just try to donate. No, nothing's too small you know it really isn't as you know we all know it comes from the heart and so you know it's just something that we can do so we don't feel so helpless and you know help any way we can it's hard sometimes to know what to do and how to help and this is how we're doing it so um yeah i'll post below so join the facebook group and i'll see all you guys in there so take care guys